I got confused. In my second year of college, all of a sudden I couldn't concentrate because I heard these voices, but no one was there. My grades fell apart and I had to leave school. I saw my doctor and learned that the voices were a symptom of something else. After taking medication, the voices basically went away, and now I'm back in school. A few years ago, I had a bad drug problem. I ended up in the hospital and I don't remember much, but apparently I never made any sense when I was talking with my doctors. After I got help and the symptoms got better, I learned that my drug use changed how I experienced the world. I started medication and I feel like I understand my life again. Someone with psychosis experiences the world differently than other people. Sometimes they might have thoughts about themselves or the world that are not true, or that no one else believes. These kinds of thoughts are called delusions. Other people might have hallucinations where they see, hear, taste, smell, or feel things that aren't actually there. These are complex mental health symptoms and can happen for several reasons. Sometimes a person can experience psychosis because of a medical condition, like a very high fever. Some people have psychosis after using lots of drugs or alcohol, or if they have severe substance withdrawal. Psychosis is also a symptom of some specific mental health conditions, like schizophrenia, which is a disorder. The good news is that there are medications that can treat psychosis. Medications for psychosis are called antipsychotics, and there are two major types. First generation, or typical antipsychotics, are used for severe symptoms of psychosis. They're highly effective in treating symptoms like severe delusions or hallucinations, but some people have significant side effects with these medications. Second generation, or atypical antipsychotics, are newer medicines that are also highly effective, and many people have fewer side effects when they take these medicines. Both types of medicines are commonly used and sometimes are even used in combination with one another to make them even more effective. Virtually all antipsychotic medications have some sort of sedating effect, which means they can make people feel calmer or even sleepy. They all work by changing the level of dopamine, a chemical in the brain that affects symptoms of psychosis. Some medications are stronger and faster acting. Some are designed for long-term consistent effects. Prescribing providers often begin treatment with antipsychotic medications slowly so they can monitor, balance, and manage any side effects a person might have. Antipsychotic medications are not addictive, but they should always be used under the close supervision of a psychiatrist. People who use antipsychotic medications often find family or social support and cognitive behavioral therapy to be really helpful in managing symptoms and continuing with their treatment regimen. Symptoms of psychosis, whether short or long-term, seriously affect people's lives and well-being. Antipsychotic medications can be the most important part of a treatment for someone who experiences symptoms that change how they experience themselves, others, and their day-to-day -day lives. Relief from symptoms of psychosis is often the key to connecting with other types of mental health treatment, and with that relief comes hope for recovery. <laughs>